Hello, thanks for clicking on this video. This is our fourth video update on the Vision 2020 project here at Great Lakes Christian High School. If you haven't seen the previous videos, you may want to to get a broader context of the overall renovation project here at Great Lakes, and you can find those on our YouTube channel. It's a beautiful day today. It's May 30th. There's been lots of exciting changes inside. Let's take a look at what's going on inside. All right, as we go in the front doors here, we're gonna immediately turn to our right, and this is a brand new set of stairs. Uh, this is gonna be the main set of stairs that accesses the second floor offices. And as I pan around here, this is gonna be an office eventually, uh, once it's complete. Uh, but these are a set of stairs to replace the stairs that we used to have uh, that were not to code and were too steep, uh, and were kind of shoehorned into a really tight space uh, and were very dangerous. The following three photographs are pictures that I took as the original staircase was being demolished. Unfortunately, I didn't have the wherewithal to take any pictures while the stairs were still in place. However, the diagonal paint line on that back cinder block wall reveals how steep the stairs were. And if you kind of follow that line and imagine stairs there, you can see that it was quite steep. The second photograph is taken from the second floor looking down to the first floor where the stairs once were, but of course the stairs have been removed. The second set of garbage cans there is about where the stairs terminated. So you can see they terminated right at the base of a cinder block wall and there wasn't a proper landing uh, in place. The third photograph you can see a, a ring of railings there. That's where that staircase entered the second floor. Uh, the railings were put in place once the stairs were removed to make it safe to work around that open space. That's where that staircase entered the second floor. So you can see that it was kind of in the middle of some usable office space and was a little bit awkwardly placed. The new staircase is pushed much further into that far corner close to that bank of windows and tucked in to utilize the space a little bit more efficiently. Uh, so these stairs are in process. They, uh, they're complete in terms of the structure, uh, but they'll need a railing and uh, that cement will be covered in tile and the steel will be painted out and uh, made to look complete. Uh, that right there was a doorway into one of the classrooms that connected to this office, but it has been filled in to accommodate these stairs. So as we go up, see what else has changed. So now we're entering the second floor and uh, I'm right at the top of the second floor. And so there's a, it's hard to get back far enough for you guys, but there is a doorway there. And so this is going to be a landing and then you'll come through this doorway and you'll be on the second floor. And that's uh, access to one office. That's access to another office. And as I spin back towards the stairs, uh, that room there is going to be a uh, furnace room. It's going to have two furnaces in it. They've started to put in all the duct work um, and they're getting close on that for the furnaces and the HVAC, the ventilation and air conditioning. So that's very exciting. You can see lots of wire runs as well. So as I proceed through the second floor, so I'm heading north right now, just to give you some geographical context. Uh, this is new since the last update. There's a, a room going in there, uh, just kind of being framed right kind of, uh, well, you can see it, it's right there. And that is gonna have uh, one furnace in it. So there's gonna be three total furnace rooms up here and four furnaces put in. And uh, this is the elevator shaft. Last video, there was uh, some scaffolding and such in there and the, the actual elevator shaft is now complete, but the elevator, of course, is still on order and needs to be put in. But uh, bear with me here as I climb out here to get you a better view. And so that's the, the bottom of the elevator shaft, looking from the second floor down to the basement floor. Uh, you can see those gray pipes angling off. Those are conduits 
they, they've got to be about a foot in diameter, maybe eight inches. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going in there, whether it's electric or, or uh, um, hydraulic lines or what. I'm not sure how the elevator is going to operate, but those are some huge lines that are going to be used to make the elevator go. And then, uh, so that's all new brick and new wall, which is, you heard me chuckle because it was kind of unfortunate. It was put like basically right against the other wall, uh, but it wasn't quite the right dimensions. And so there's all new wall just inside the other wall, the original wall that was there. All right, well, bear with me again as I head out of here. So you can see more runs of ducts. So the ceiling was drywalled and then all the electrical and, and ducts were run on top of that and then there'll be a, an additional drop ceiling put in uh, when all those runs are done. Uh, and this is now complete. So this, uh, right from that corner right there in that wall, this used to be all open space. Uh, but we've pushed out the floor and extended the floor uh, right out to that wall and those were windows and they'll be replaced with new windows so that's all complete these two photos show what this space looked like before the floor was pushed out so you see the two by fours on the right there that's what's left of the back wall that was the back wall of a classroom uh, but that wall in this picture is in the process of being demolished and so you had that wall there and then empty space and then the outside wall. And the floor has now been pushed right out into that outside wall, uh, creating more space for that classroom. And then this is your third furnace room that I was referring to that will house your fourth furnace. And if I swing this way, there's the other stairs going down just to give you some context for those of you that are familiar with our building in terms of where we're at right now. All right, so if I keep going, as you look out here on the roof, there's some nice brand new shiny AC units. Those, uh, those aren't where they're gonna live. That's just where they were delivered to, uh, but they will be put in uh, their proper home, I think this week, uh, but, and connected. There's another look at that furnace room. And we'll head downstairs. And so if I pan up here, you can see all that new floor that I was just referencing. So right at that beam, this used to be open right through to the top and created quite a cathedral type entryway to our stairs. Uh, and we have closed that in to gain more space upstairs. Well, one of the things that drove this project at the beginning for sure and uh, is, continues to drive it is accessibility of our building. And one of our problems was there was no real good fire escape or legal fire escape by today's standards. Uh, from the second floor uh, so this set of stairs that you just looked down it just emptied out into this spot here inside the building so we didn't have any stairwells that went directly outside the building which is no longer the fire code and so this right here is one of the new additions of, of our building uh, to make us compliant with fire code so this is just a temporary framing and a temporary door right now, but this, well, you can see the permanent frame is sitting here. Uh, this will become a permanent doorway and it'll be finished off and look real nice. Um, that will allow you to come right down these stairs and go right out the building. Now to make this a legal fire escape, it does have to have some sort of way to shut off this landing so that fire doesn't spread from this floor right up to the other floor. And so there'll be a, a wall framed in here with doors in it to allow us to, or well, to allow that to be shut off um, to make this a proper fire escape. But this door will be more than just a fire escape. Uh, it's going to lead out to a courtyard here that's gonna be set up and, uh, and nice for our students and will give us some outdoor space 
uh, to utilize and to get outside and uh, have a nice place for our students to go. And so we'll take a look at that just to give you some perspective. So right now, this is one of the main accesses for construction. So it's quite a mess. This is where all the masonry work is getting done. Uh, but what you're looking at the, or you were looking at the library uh, on that side. And then on this side, uh, this is the gym. So we're on the west side of the school. Tennis courts are over there just to give you a little bit of perspective of where we're at. So that's it for this update. Thank you very much for watching and thank you for your interest in the school. Uh, we're very excited about this project. Uh, this big Vision 2020 renovation project uh, and uh, we hope you are too and uh, I hope you're enjoying kind of getting caught up on how this project is going and maybe staying a little bit in step with it and uh, we appreciate we really appreciate your interest in the school so if you want to know more about the project you can see that on our website and the exact web address will be listed at the end of this video uh, and there's also information there on how to donate to this project if you're so inclined uh, but thank you for your watching and thank you for your interest in the school. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.